this is my channel right here. It's called DMC Sessions. What up, what up everybody? I go by the name of Apelule Pakat and this is the DMC Sessions. I'm very excited today, uh, sitting with the boss lady herself, uh, Unandiwe. She represents NICE, right? Nice What's the name limited. of the brand? He's nice, nice Limited. limited. Yeah, 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 yeah. So tell us, what, what what is this? I'm seeing products here on the, on the, on the table. Mm -hmm. Can you maybe like run us through what you do, first of all? Okay. And then you can also tell us like what these are okay so as he mentioned my name is nandi wayne dawande and i'm the ceo and founder of nice limited okay so basically what nice is it's it's healing to your body mm -hmm. if i could summarize it in that way mm -hmm. and it's healing intensified because it focuses on each aspects of hair skin mm. as well as lips okay um so my passion is part of personal care part of making things to assist people to heal themselves mm. and what we have on the shelves and for well, commercial cosmetics mm. i'd like to call it um it is this you know bits and pieces of things that don't make sense and add up to the skin mm. and i guess my products are natural they're organic Yes. And sometimes you need to feed your body with what it needs. Yeah. Um, with, with what it In is. In and out. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah. as conscious as we are with our eating, we also need to look at what we're putting on our body. Mm. So, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> what are the products that you have that will help us with our bodies? Our bodies. Yeah. Um, okay. So first and foremost, I'm also the CMOS distributor. Okay. In Southern Africa. Yeah. Hashtag CMOS gang. <laughs> and um, basically it's a natural supplement or natural herb, mm. algae, more specific. Mm -hmm. um, a red algae from the ocean that has 92 minerals mm -hmm. and our body is made up of 102 minerals. So mm -hmm. when we consume sea moss, we consume most of what our our bodies, our bodies need, need yeah. and is yeah. you know, an essential fat. So okay. um, it's, it, it has tons of benefits from um like uh helping your gut it makes your skin glow and hair because it's mineral rich mm. um it removes phlegm from the mucous membrane mm. um and you know phlegm is, is, is mucus forming mm -hmm. so when we look at sea moss it's an alkaline product mm. so because um i'm well plant-based yeah. three years now oh nice <laughs> oh i need to out there just out there as well <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so um what was i saying uh you were talking about the the, the minerals mm. you said there's your body yes. has 102 and then yes. these ones have 92 yes. right yeah 92 yeah, yeah, yeah yes yeah. and yeah high yeah. in iron etc so i put those that supplement in mm -hmm. the products and there's been like amazing results mm. um putting cmos on your face as well Yo, so can it, imagine. It's soaps tubes which is pale turmeric and activate charcoal which is good for brightening the skin yeah um removing marks making yourself youthful but because mm. it's organic it's not gonna like you mm. know accelerate it's a journey yeah, yeah you know yeah. And your skin responds um certain like within like the three month range etc mm -hmm. um to for your body to receive it yes um but other than that it's hair growth serum oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah which yeah. is also amazing i've also Man. added cannabis mm -hmm. in the actual oils as well because cannabis is a healer mm. um used for meditation for mm. relaxing for a lot of a lot of things causes right but yeah. especially on your hair and that's what people are not educated about mm. and it's intensified growing mm. um not only from myself mm -hmm. but from the customers and the people that i interact with that have actually used the product mm. so i've also formulated a beard oil which is you know nice. introducing for the men <laughs> the men need to come through you know my brush you give my brother that he's been wanting to grow his beard really? <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah so it, you know, it helps with patches and mm. you know there's also cannabis in there so i'm also an advocate of of um of using cannabis products etc mm -hmm. um because it's so healing for everything yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it also People raises your vibration see it like it's taboo but it actually has a lot of healing components it does it. have a lot of healing components um, yeah with everything that you're saying i mean i took this journey i think from 2018 when i was trying to also heal myself i started off with taking like um 
fruits and vegetables in mm. the mornings. And now it's my breakfast. Like, I always just have a smoothie. And then I only eat after 12 if I'm going to oh, eat. Oh, nice. You know, and then sip tea also in the morning with ginger and stuff. And then I got introduced into sea moss. And, you know, mm. so I t- take the sea moss, the burdock root, and the... Uh, What's the other one again? It's a bladder rack. Bladder rack, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's one or two and one or two, out of one or two. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. So when when you're speaking, like, or, or when I saw you, when I you was introduced to you, I was like, yo, this is actually interesting. I'd love to, you know, talk to you at some point. Um, because I also think bought your product before. I bought the soap. Yes. And then I also bought the hair growth. And uh, my mom actually needed the hair growth, so she's been using it. So she was telling me, hey, this thing is actually working. Hey, like, it's actually working my hair. Oh, I'm like, yeah, for real. Wow. Yeah, so there you yeah. go, man. Plug, guys. Make sure you get your product. <laughs> this is a free ad. Yo, yo. Um, Thank yeah, you. so it worked. Uh, so I really feel like you're doing a great thing, you know, and I really appreciate what you do. So I wanted to kind of uh, put it on the spotlight as well to say, yo, uh, people should kind of be interested in this direction, you know, in terms of living, because living, you know, it's like you need your body to be well mm-hmm. at the end of the day. And you're a healer, you're a doctor. Mm-hmm. Basically what you're doing, you know, you're being a doctor. So where did this come from, this passion? What drove you into getting Yo, this it's, business it's such a so funny that you're asking me that because I was thinking about that this week. Yeah. That how is it that I came to be the way I am? Yeah, yeah. And I, and it has been different journeys, but then my mother, credit mama, yes. <laughs> <laughs> my mother has been health conscious like throughout our whole life. She introduced us to quinoa when no one knew what it was. Mm, what you is know? that? Uh, quinoa. Quinoa. Yeah. So it's, no, a, it's a superfood, okay. right? So it's 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 a it's a it's an African grain mm. that is packed with iron, protein, magnesium. Um, and it's it's instead of eating rice because mm-hmm. rice is acid forming, mm-hmm. you would take quinoa, which is mm-hmm. alkaline forming. So alkaline foods between acid and alkaline that you need to understand mm-hmm. um, is according to Doctor Sebi. Yes, he yes, he also inspired me. Acid, yeah. And then acid food cause mucus, mucus cause disease and sickness, etc. Mm-hmm. And also affects our mental health. Yes. People will never speak about yes. the the physical aspect of how ment- how it can like improve or. Um, the like, moods and yeah, your exactly. chemical imbalances. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like people are not acknowledged about that. It's not mm. spoken about that as well. How food can actually mm. yeah, because of the fruits as well, high vibrational, mm-hmm. fasting also water. Yes, it's it's high water. vibrational. Yeah. You know Because I mean? we are water. Yeah, yeah. So, and good water too. Like yeah, yeah tap not water, just tap water. <laughs> <laughs> like good authentic water. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And you feel the difference. Water. Like, you feel yeah, you're hydrating you just... yourself. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, and so that's where my journey is alkaline. So my mom introduced me to those things when I was young and I was mm. like she used to make us drink coconut water. You're like, what is mm. that? <laughs> You're like, what? Yeah. You know? And yeah. then... Shout out to your mom. Yeah, man. no. Give thanks to my mom. Yeah. She really... Yeah. Like, planted, planted the seed. Planted the seed. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh-huh. then I think the biggest change that got me, like, shaken uh-huh. was when my younger sister... Um, she told our family about Dr. Sebi mm. and because her friend was alkaline, uh-huh, right? Uh-huh. So she was like, what? And you know, I just ate meat because it's food. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, you know. Sure. And, and it's, it's everywhere, man. Yeah, yeah. and it's everywhere. It's, yeah. it's just like, okay. Even within culture. Yeah, mm. exactly. So mm. I really never questioned being aware of what I put in my body. I just mm. ate and You just stuff. eat anything. Yeah, anything. And you don't know why you have cramps, why you nah, feel lazy. But like, then, I can we go to the doctors and they'll yeah, give us pharmaceuticals and that's the cure. Yes, so yes. we just have a dependent on, yeah, you know, yeah. we want doctors to depend on our health and mm. it's, t- it's their responsibility. But it's each and every one of us is responsibility. Uh-huh. So, um, before I lose my point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going towards Back the and business. Forth. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. And then my sister introduced us to that that knowledge and I I didn't turn it automatically. It was just like a cult I just started researching because it really sparked me. Mm. Yeah. They said a lot of things that I was like, huh? Mm, I like, know, right? Mind parasites stuff, and I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And like health and skin and just pretty much everything when I started to research. And just one day, mm. the things that I used to love the most, like I loved eggs, was like my go-to. Mm. Um, and I had to cut them out. How was that? How was the challenge of having to cut 
things out. Yeah, like I'm saying, still... cutting things like eggs and then the ribs. Mm. Like... No, I didn't. Not. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> My the body way. just rejected <laughs> that food. For real? Yeah, I didn't like them. It tasted rotten to me. Oh, afterwards? Or no, since? no, before. Oh. I just had those... My body just stopped liking stuff. Really? Yeah, I remember wow. I went to this rib restaurant, whatever, I ordered. Yeah. And then they got it. And it was like an Uber Eats thing. But mm-hmm. before Uber Eats was a thing, you mm-hmm. know? And then I, I ate and like, no, man, these things are rotten. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you taste one, you're like, just a bite. <laughs> Man, it's rotten. Wow, like, nah, it's ribs? in your mind, and this is in your mind. And yeah. I'm eating. Oh, I was like, no. And I called them angry. I was a Karen. Whoa. You, you guys, the service. No, 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 no. Man, please come to get new ones. Come get it. Like, I don't even know this town. I was, uh, I was hungry. I was like, you know what? Yeah. Screw it. Let me just go. You just downed it. Yeah, I know. I didn't down it. <laughs> <laughs> I went to go change it. Oh, snap. Because it Why tasted rotten. Oh, yeah. It tasted like and a corpse. meat is very bad. Yeah, it's yeah, terrible. It's it smells horrible. Can you imagine taste? Mm. And then I got another, a fresh new one, mm. and I ate it again, like a bite. Mm. And I was like, and another one. I'm like, I can't do this. I called my mom in anger. This place, da, 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 I'm gonna throw it away. And I was like, no, Nandi, you don't throw food away. Yeah. Bring it home because I was returning home okay. that same day. The well, the following the next day, and then eventually. My mom ate them because I was at home. Mm. And she was like, hmm, wow. Oh, cool. yeah, this, this is so is nice. good. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? I'm like, never. I smelled. No. I'm like, this cannot be. Wow. So things like that, that my body started rejecting because yeah. of the information I was feeding itself. Mm. The thing, I was changing my environment, you know? Mm. I'm used to a certain way, a certain way of thinking mm. without questioning. Mm. And then I was introduced through consciousness mm. with this whole Dr. Sebi knowledge and how food affects everything mm. you know and keeps us sick and yo now yeah. you think twice every time you take something yeah you know, but it's going into your body exactly yeah, yeah. and i've always i've always liked chemistry mm. um okay. and i even have a degree in chemistry nice you know because i've always liked to know i'm a researcher yeah I, I love to expand my knowledge yeah um so i was i was also just trying to make my own things by myself mm-hmm. you know then lockdown happened mm. when lockdown happened business started nah. yeah. yeah that's when you had your whole focus yeah there. and it's so funny because within my because i still have a, a, a professional job i'd like to call it okay yeah okay. So, so even within that mm. it pushed me to do what i'm doing now because i'm in the petrochemical industry oh, so the oil and gas industries we are taking on petrol under, yes <laughs> just complaining about petrol. no no <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know yeah. um so yeah, because it's not, it's something I'm good at and just something that I do and mm-hmm. generates income, yes. Mm-hmm. But then it's pushed me more to, to start focus on this. my business. So how is the business going? I saw you like even have a store somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Where, where, where's your store? Oh, okay. And so so and how did you have, how did you get that? Oh, okay. So have? my stores are first in, uh, I'll start with Ravonia Mall. Okay. Um, there's an organization called Women in Business that I used to be part of, but then I just let go for a couple of months because mm-hmm. uh, I needed to commit to my studies. Okay. So yeah, I was just getting too much work school. This, this, sure. this. Yeah, this, yo, last year was hectic. Dang. Hectic and strong. Yeah. Um, but I'm done. Thank yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. during that time, the business took a dip because I'm, I don't have a partner mm. and... I mean, yes, I have a lot of supportive friends mm. um, that help me with, um, shout out to Garabo, who she really does help me a lot. And, you know, she, she's very hands on mm. in the business and, you know, a lot of others, my sister, etc. cetera. Um, it basically strengthened me to focus more on my business mm. as well. Okay. So it's, yeah. you only have the, Revo- you, have, you said you have Ravonia. Yeah, so it's Ravonia, and then, it's Rosebank Rose at Soko Bank. District. Okay, okay. Yeah, um, and there's a wide range as well of um, products. So if someone Under walks the by there, they could see your logo, nice. Oh, okay. So the, so the nice is under a, a grocer, grocery, uh-huh. like little exclusive grocery mall inside Soko District oh. called yeah, Gather. Then my products yeah. are on the shelves. Okay. Yes. All right, all right. How did <laughs> and you get that online. How did you get that deal? Um, people were just loving your products. Yo, yeah, like the, the, like the, the right upper, to, to be honest, my friends have mm. helped me. 
Shout out to Pena. Right. <laughs> because it's friend. just it's just connections. You know, mm. people have information, but they keep quiet. Mm. The people that I'm with, they have information, they pass it on. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a blessing that I, you know, a lot of people say, I've seen a lot of posts with startup entrepreneurs like, uh-huh. In the beginning, when they started making money or started seeing success, no one helped them and they were all alone. Mm. For me, that's not my story. Mm. My friends are helping me throughout the whole way. Yeah, man. Because yeah. you do a great thing. Like, these things are not, like, <laughs> And it's the people that... Yeah, I know. It's the people that I know as well that spread the word. So, guys, thank you so much. Like, yeah, I really appreciate yeah, yeah. it. Um, and, yeah, let's continue to spread the word. <laughs> Shout out. Let's spread the word right now. DMC Sessions, tune in, subscribe. <laughs> Do you have... Um, who, who made your logo, by the way? I also need to ask. Um, there's a guy... Label, who made my label? The, the, the logo. Like the design. The designs, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I... I made my design. Nice. Right? <laughs> those free design things online. Yeah. That those, like, international ones. Mm-hmm. So, then I just, like... I had a vision how I wanted it to be. And then I made the design myself. Mm. And it's also, I remember thinking of names. What should I name it? Can you remember nice hair to skin? Nice limited products? Nice products? Because, mm. I, yeah, I don't know. You're already on nice. Yeah. Okay. Because it also goes back to whole my, my dad used to call me Nandi Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I, I don't know. And I used to call me Nice. <laughs> I want Nice. <laughs> wow. Well, so there's a story, excuse me, behind um Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Where 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 are you from, by the way? Where do you come from? Oh, What's born you? and bred in Johannesburg. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. What yes. language? Um Zulu. Okay. Um yes. And my mom is Betty. Your mom's baby. Yeah, so I do have both, both uh, tribes. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't do you like have a home you go home to or... uh home that I go home to will be mm-hmm. uh where my mom is from. Okay. Where my grandparents were. So that for me Always just going there uh, to my aunt's house as well. To rejuvenate. Yeah, rejuvenate yeah. and um, KZN as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. So how are you? So so how are you? You you loving Joburg? So I'm. Um, you wanna stay here forever? I, or? Um, okay. I'm born and bred in Joburg. Mm-hmm. I'm a city girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In all honesty, like, yeah. yeah, the way I think is the way. Uh, this is my environment so i'm mm-hmm. always like cha, 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 you know mm-hmm. fast so yes. I, so yes i would love to um go to a place i just need to set up everything here and just end it well so lay the foundation strong before mm-hmm. i let go yes. yeah what, and, what and place automate. You, what place would you like to um to? to be honest i'd love to be a uh, an, a nomad a what <laughs> Someone that moves around a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. I don't want to stay in one place comfortable. I want to travel. I want to go to the UK, to uh, Europe. I want to go to Tanzania. I should see that for you. Ooh, give thanks. Yes, mm. yes. I want to go to Ethiopia. Chill. Yeah. Gather knowledge. Come yeah. back home and do some some work with with, with talented people mm. and with the right people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice, man. <laughs> Yo, I, I, just, I find myself saying nice the whole time. I think it's, it's your brand. The vibes. <laughs> <laughs> the vibes are nice. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good, man. Um, so another thing that I was, I was just wondering when I saw you is you also focused on gymming, right? Yes. You, you have a, a healthy gym life. <laughs> so can you tell us about that? Um, yeah, so... Like, what? How, when did it start? Have you always been a gym freak, or did it come with the consciousness? Ish. Did it come with you getting into this So, lifestyle? the same way, if I can also confess, mm-hmm. right? The same way my mom was, who introduced these healthy, organic food stores at a young age, so we didn't eat them, mm-hmm. like, huh? Yeah. Right? It's the yeah. same way my dad, yeah, predominantly my dad and my mm-hmm. mom, they would go to gym and we'll go to gym with them when we were small. Mm. Oh, your parents have a huge influence. Yeah, huh? very, very like, huge That's influence. really great. How do you plan on raising your kids? It's definitely the same lifestyle I did. Yeah. I, yeah. Um, and, and I don't know, with whoever... What if, what if they decide, like, I want to eat ribs? And... Oh, no. Um, after 18. <laughs> <laughs> after 18 years old, sure, do you. But they'll yeah, just but they'll, like, they'll eat what I eat. Okay. The thing is, can I tell you one thing? People mm. we're, we're conditioned. Mm. We're told that meat is food, but who? How am I greater than an ant? Because we both have the same breath. Yeah. They're both conscious, but at different mm. frequencies mm. or mm. realities. 
multiverse, you know? Mm. Yeah. So mm. it's just what it's just according to what I've understood from the most high mm. personally, according mm. to what I I, I know. Mm. And all oh, life matters. Yeah. So yes, I'm a product of the small teachings of my parents. Mm. I'm a combination of both. And, you... and also myself because of yes, my yes. own experiences that I've created. Yeah. Um and decided what to choose and what to do. Yeah. But of late I've also discovered yoga. Mm. Yeah, yoga also came 2020 mm. when I was just starting the business. It was more of a spiritual awakening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I really yeah. was. 2020. 2020 was just yeah, a that great reset. I tell you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, yoga has been a, a great journey for me to tune into myself mm. and you know just redirect my thought processes, my patterns, how mm. I am, discover myself, mm. not fear the unknown. You know, mm. conditioned to mm. fear. Um, the unknown. Yeah. So it's it's a journey, and mm. um, yeah. try to be present as much as possible. As That's exactly. what yoga practice like, yeah, is trying about. To be present. Yeah, yeah. 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 You bring yourself back. And to just yourself. using the element of air mm. to to meditate. Yes, to tune yes. in um, because it also affects your heartbeat. To affects wow. your your muscles. Hey, some yogas are, are like painful though. Like, Painful. Yeah, yeah. Some yoga <laughs> teachers have gone to like, oh, really? making me twist up. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like it's so nice. Yeah, but it's nice afterwards. Oh my gosh, yeah. it's like gym, man. Like, it's like know, gym. It, yeah, it's it tough. Like but then afterwards, you're like, <sighs> you feel so. Yeah, <laughs> you can exactly. take on the day. So now, um, with the yoga, I was getting too skinny <laughs> <laughs> because I was fasting a lot. Oh, I was sad. getting like really tiny. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I need to gain more weight. Yeah. <laughs> so I started, um, I don't want to gain weight, obviously the unhealthy way, mm, mm. but the more conscious way, you yes. know, taking care of your body and, you know, eating Yo, more really healthy foods. Yeah. yeah. So it's like a cycle pattern that I'm living by and I'm trying to have the same vibes across all stages of my life. Mm. Yeah. So the people you surround yourself with, yeah. Are they meat eaters? Or yeah, they are meat eaters. Yeah. You? Oh, okay. Yeah. Except, You're not... Karaba is the exception. <laughs> yeah, because I met her. So when I was selling CMOS, yeah. then she was like, hey, can you please, can you please have CMOS? I'm like, then we spoke about her being vegan. Yeah. She's, telling, she's doing like a Daniel's fast with her family. And then, and then yeah, I was like, girl, give me your numbers. Yeah, <laughs> I need a friend like this. I need a friend life. like this because everyone else eats. Yeah, because I was going to okay, ask, honestly. I was going to ask, like, how do you manage that? Because me and my boy coming through here, we're talking about a uh, topic of influence, like how yeah. much friends can, or people around your environment can have a huge influence on you, you know? Yeah. Um, no matter how much you try to fight it, if you're around people, let's say, who drink a lot, like, and you live with them, say, you end up also drinking if you are not a drinker. But it's not always the case, but I'm just saying it's more difficult of a fight. So that's why I was asking you, like, how do you survive? How do you manage staying true to being, yeah. you know, who you are and what you're mm. about around people who do otherwise? Yeah, I beg to differ on that segment. Okay. Because I think if you are not, con- if you're concerned in yourself and you literally stay in your lane, mm. what someone else chooses to do on their life will mm. not affect you because mm. we all have different experiences, different upbringings, the way we think is different, the way we process, the way we take, everything is different even though we have a common understanding based on what we each other think we're saying, you yes, know? Yes, yes. So, um, and also, am I friends with you because of meat or have you shown me support in all the areas of my life, mm. focusing on the most important things? Mm-hmm. Yes, I understand that we will have an influence on each other, mm. but then as friends, we also need to know each other and respect each other's boundaries, mm. you know, yeah. and respect each other. Yeah. So, and, and also focus on the love, you yeah. know, of each other, yeah. you know, and the yeah. good times and eliminate what's not necessary and yes. take in what's, what is. What is. So yeah. what I'm, I'm feeling from you is like, you must be very cognizant cognitive and conscious about mm. yourself first mm. and foremost whichever environment you're in yes. you know who you are yeah times. Exactly. i mean maybe people who fall into the influence are probably like they, they they're not sure who they are what they like yeah what they exactly want out of life. and just... and you can't get that way you know you, you just need to spend time with yourself yes. meditating um mm. i mean 
There was, there was a time I never even knew how to meditate. No. Yeah, I was yeah. like, two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like 10. I was like, no way. It's because the brain is always distracting. You don't you need to calm your brain down, calm yourself down. Mm. Um, yeah. Get into it. Mm. So the, what are the ways to meditate? Because I always felt like, oh, you have to sit like this. And you know, they have this. <laughs> <laughs> they have a specific way. Yeah. But then what I learned, okay, personally for me, it's like when I run, for example, I get into a state of meditation. You know, when I'm running and just, you know, listening to some good music and then I just start thinking and I go to many places. Or sometimes I'm just present and I block out the world. Do you feel like meditation is like that if you're to sit down and just... Yeah, so... Um, or do you have to sit and, you know, do the poses? Yeah, so um, this is just based on my like what I've what I've read and what I've seen, mm -hmm. right? So I may be wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um meditation there's different <clears throat> what is the definition? Let's start with the definition yeah, okay, of let's meditation. Go <laughs> yeah. If I can just think of one out of my head. Mm -hmm. So meditation would just be like a, a f like you're focusing and concentrating on one specific thing. Okay. And not falling to the distractions that may come. Mm. Meditation is not judgment either. You don't play something good or bad. Mm. You don't put a ranking to it. Mm. You are just looking at it. And meditation has got to do with one's mind. Um, because it may lead, according to where your chakra sits, this is the third eye. And this is the crown chakra. Right? Mm -hmm. And these two are obviously like energy pointers in all the chakras, but they, they're more focused on your spirituality mm. and the doorway to, to higher consciousness and higher understanding mm -hmm. or tapping into the most high. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So once you focus on that and yeah, once you focus on that, right. Um, the focusing would be on your breath. Okay. Because okay. that's, we're using the element, <sighs> Of air. Of life. Of life, yeah. exactly. You know, there's everything that we need that we breathe. And once you focus on your breath, you will see. I'm not saying you won't think. Your brain yeah, will yeah, put everything yeah. in. Your brain but don't something. judge yourself. Don't judge it. Because you're just seeing. You're just reading a newspaper here. Mm. You know, but don't don't entertain either. Don't mm. be like, you don't expand. You're just, okay. you're just flipping the book. That's nice. meditation. Yes. <laughs> you're just checking what's in your brain. Yes. Literally. And then once you focus on your breath, you're relaxing your state of mind. Your your heart rate is regulated. You're lowering your blood pressure. Mm. It's alkalizing your body. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> it's alkalizing your body basically, and that's not even before. Yeah, the and you're oxygenating your body as well because you become yeah, more youthful. All the breath, the breath, and exactly, all of that, the and it, exactly, it gets very addictive as well. Yeah, you're just always want to breathe. Oh, which is good maybe that's because where that comes calm. from with yeah. chill. Yes, you're always breathing. Yoga's breathing. Stuff, Just yeah. like where yoga is. Yoga, mm. you move with breath. Mm. So you're meditating with your body. Okay. People meditate through dancing. People yes. meditate through art. Uh -huh. So that's different forms of meditation. You. you know? People you. meditate by sleeping, but they're not mm. sleeping. Mm. They are, yeah, and that delta state. Yeah, energy. it's called the corpse pose in oh, yoga. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because you literally, and you're floating. You're just, yo, mm. it's very restorative. Mm. Um, as well, you know, but apparently some, some of our African ancestors or I don't know, even maybe now it's just, I haven't yeah. been to East or West Africa, but one day, <laughs> yeah. okay. okay. <laughs> um, people, um, just meditate by just closing their eyes. Mm. People open their eyes and just stay into nothing. Yeah. And that's how they get lost. Wow. In not lost, yeah, but yeah, I feel you. like not being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So what, floating, the yeah, floating. Yeah. What's yeah. your favorite? What's your favorite meditation? My favorite form of meditation um, is yoga. Okay. Definitely. Okay. And upper body day. <laughs> <laughs> what is upper body day? Weights and stuff. Weights. Oh yeah. Back, yeah. Oh. Because you also use breath. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Use breath. And, and it, there's a lot of struggle. And there's a lot of struggle, and it's it's really a mind. Yeah, it's kind of like a tension. It's like um, massaging, right? Like you 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 get the pain. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. Pushing through the muscle, so when you yeah, lifting, it's kind of like yeah. That. I, I feel you. I feel you. And massages, you love massages too, or yeah, and of course, love massages as well. Um, do you know yeah. how to do massages on someone else? On someone else, yeah. No. No. I go to the spa, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. 
<laughs> I leave it to the professionals. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nah, because I like that too. Like, yo, when I go there, it's like I feel loose. Even if it's painful, because it's, it's usually they ask you like soft, medium, yeah, yeah. hard, and then yeah. oh, I always do hard. Cause really? I always, yeah, because I always feel like, <laughs> you know, they have small hands and, and my body's kind of big, so I think maybe if they apply more pressure, <laughs> oh, it'll okay. be better. Then I'll yeah. be more loosened up. No, know? I definitely need the lightest one. Yeah. Yeah. That's so true. in terms of like doing a business, I mean, it's a brave thing, and not a lot of people are brave enough to start their own thing and go about about it the way you did, you know, mm. actually get stuff on shelves, actually get products, labeling, you know, like it's a big thing what you're yeah, doing, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I was even surprised with Simo's uh, soap. I'm yeah. Like, For real, like I yeah. can bother the stuff. Yeah. Like, and I always think about the the process, like how do you make the stuff, you know? How do you actually put it together? Do you have mm. people you work with, manufacturers? Mm. Like so that? I definitely am a visionary because... Mm-hmm. I don't have to do everything myself. Okay. You know, you don't, in order to build a team, Mm -hmm. you need people. Yes. Um, So that's one of the life experiences that I've also learned Mm -hmm. um, growing up in my life. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. So I, I distribute. You distribute. I distribute and I create a team Mm -hmm. with independent contractors. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you got people who actually make the stuff. Yeah. Someone that makes the stuff, someone that brings in the stuff. Mm. Um. Yeah. Uh, people. Uh, I have a distributor. Forgot to mention yeah. the CMOS distributor program where um, I sell people a very very affordable price of CMOS so that they can upsell and also not be expensive but also be mm. same level where how much I sell CMOS at market related prices basically. Yeah. 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 Um, so guys, if you'd like to be a CMOS distributor, um, please let me know. Um, my details will be on. The the description below yeah the description below definitely definitely yeah so yeah and then it's, it's really good because it's healing you know yeah and, man and, yeah. You need that. i feel like it's one of the conversations we don't have enough yeah. of on like commercial media for yeah. example because people always speak about the surface and like what are we dealing with you know people going through depression and all these things but mm. they don't know the little things like you mentioned like diet and mm. actually taking care of your body can go a long way even in terms of how you think the frequency that you tap into so that you can have the ideas to be able to get yourself out of poverty maybe yeah you know what i'm saying exactly. so, so it starts within. yeah so it starts within it's a, it's a good thing how do you feel about the market though speaking on that like of the cmos market yes the cmos market um, i don't think it's that big i only know two people really people that buy from and then you as well i'm gonna buy from now the cmos market is growing quite, quite fast nah. right now rapidly you can find it on retail yeah, I think really? some some like I'm on retail, Soko District. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rivonia <part>. Pharmacy. <laughs> um, but then other than that, there are a lot of people who also who start selling bulk mm. um CMOS everywhere. Mm. Which is I guess bad for business, yeah. but it's amazing it's for amazing. health. Yeah. That's that's exactly what I what we want to see. Yeah. We want to see people knowing that there's something that could heal themselves yes honestly you know yeah and it's nice that people are actually more aware of it because once people are aware of sea moss Mm. they're aware of other herbs Mm. they're aware of the consciousness of food and what they put in their bodies and that the rest is history you know so i think the next 50 years we'll be a different nation here when it comes to food yeah and like what we true yeah there's this whole and vegan lifestyle. society thing as well with the animal cruelty mm. causes it's, it's a huge market yeah yo. yo it's growing <laughs> yeah. so because I, I even see now when i get into restaurants there's always like a vegan menu now. yeah which we appreciate but yeah man, it's like oh <laughs> vegan burger this and that yeah. even in fast foods you even in now. fast foods yeah. yeah which is nice because mm. it's okay to cheat a little bit <laughs> <laughs> No. Yeah, I was about to ask if you cheated, uh, but you said three, three, three years. So uh, never mind that question, because you said you haven't been eating for three years. No, not, che- not cheating. Vegan. No, not cheating with meat. No. Yeah, that's what I was gonna oh, ask. Oh no. You have you? Like, <laughs> no. Yeah, uh, uh, no. I think I think maybe the time I'd cheat is I'd have ice cream if there's no vegan ice cream. Uh, but that's really the case. Yeah. But yeah. Um. What else? I think that's about it. Mm. Yeah. So I was asked this question at home because I also have Simos at home, and they're like, "Where do you where do you get this stuff?" And I thought to myself, "Can you actually get it in any ocean, or is it a specific 
ocean that you get it from? Like, where do you get sea moss? Yeah, that's a very good question because mm. I really would love to get a scuba diver going down. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are laughing, but I'm serious. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to get a scuba diver to check if there's some in Durban or Cape Town. Nah. Because... Like, we have to the have places, some. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But then the sea moss um, is, is, is that I get it from is from Tanzania. Oh, okay. Dar es Salaam. Um, and what else? There's the Caribbean, Jamaica. There's mm. some places in Asia, but mm. obviously shipping is affected. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay, but then also there's different grades of sea moss. Mm. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of species of sea moss as nah. well. The sea moss farms is conscious crispus. There's another one. I oh, that's why they come in different colors. The different yeah. colors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure that... if you see this one. There's a green one here. It's it's apparently the green one. Can this you see one it? Is gold. This one is purple. Yeah, there's a bit of green there. Guys, yeah. this is how this looks. That's by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Seamus. Yeah. Don't so... be scared of it. It's, it's okay. Yeah. yeah, but which I also have into capsules forms, by the way. Mm. Yeah. So some people don't want this. So basically it okay. comes dried it's... like this. Yeah. And then Oh yeah, tell us how to prepare it actually. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it comes dried like this. Okay. And then you store it in water overnight for 12 hours and it becomes thick, yeah. thicker because it's a part of the ocean that will yeah. you know, swell up. Swell up. Let me just put this here. Okay. And then um, you put it into a blender. Mm. Yeah, you put it into a blender with water and then it will blend. Mm. Okay, so you leave it for 12 hours in the water. It soaks up. Take it out. Do you drain it or do you... Um, just pour everything in the blender and then... No, you drain it. You drain I, I would it, say yeah. you would drain it. In the beginning, I used to tell people that they can even use it as a toner. Mm. Because it's also, like, from the raw state. But then... Yeah. Yeah. Because mm. I already... I'm creating toners and stuff here. So... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to use it unrefined. Yeah. I will refine it nicely for you. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so a toner is coming up, guys. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Keep that nice skin. <laughs> it helps with the skin actually also like i saw my skin starting to glow like no oh, i love it the time i was like whoa this thing is crazy yeah like the first so i never look back man and i always feel like with um maybe our families or whatever it's like you first have to conscientize them in this yeah, life of course. because they will all like you know when you're afraid of change you're afraid of what you don't know yeah. you won't just get into something so even if maybe your someone is sick or is you know is having so many pills how do you tell them like yo i can actually help you out in this way because they're so conditioned mm. with you know the, the 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 pills and stuff yeah so i just plant seeds i don't oh, okay I don't, I like to, okay, I like to pick on people's brains a bit, yeah. just to see, like, how they think, and mm. if I could relate to them, and speak to them with the things I usually speak about, Yeah, yeah. because the things I usually speak about, it's like, huh? Yeah, what, what do you what say? What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> so I see how far am I, in, you know? Yeah. But anyways, um, and if they're like, yeah, pulls, 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 pharmaceuticals, mm you know yeah then i just you know just leave seeds yeah i'm seeds, like yeah. oh no if you fast you can actually you can reverse actually. disease yeah but i wouldn't say reverse disease my fasting also helps with flu mm. just like that yeah 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 because it really does Cleans the <laughs> yeah. yeah and if you drink your sea muscles and everything it it flushes mm. and you have faster recovery as well mm, so true. i'll tell people stuff like that mm -hmm. and they're like really i'm like yeah i tried it and it really works mm -hmm. and then that's planting a seed Maybe they won't do it the next time, but they'll mm. do it one day. Yeah. If they can see that pills are not working for them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I just, yeah, accept how people are. Mm. And I don't try to change them. True. Because it's not their journey. Yeah. Like, this is my journey. Your journey. Yeah. You do what you gotta I do. I do what I gotta you do. Know, you Stay in plans. my lane. <laughs> <laughs> and just planting Plant seeds. Plant the seeds. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's great. That's a great advice. Yeah. Because uh, I feel like even with um, adults, maybe... You know, they, they have a very tough time accepting new truths and new stuff. Like, mm. if you talk about... Actually, I wanted to ask a controversial question, but I don't know if you're not able to answer it. But what did you think of the, the, the vaccine? Uh, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't like addressing political... Man, I know. Because, um, I was just you throwing know, it in case. I wanna... <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just going to give you an overall about view you. of... Of, of the what I think of the pharmaceutical industry. Okay. I'm not going to speak on a specific topic. So, um, 
Uh, so the reason why I okay, I I don't take any pharmaceutical. Okay, let me. So if I get a headache, mm. the first thing I'm not gonna do is pop a panado to get okay. rid of the headache. Okay. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. I'm gonna evaluate myself. Okay, then I drink water. Mm. Right. If I did drink water, then I'm like, hmm, am I hungry? Mm. I'll eat. I still have a headache. Oh, okay. Did I sleep enough? Oh, makes sense. Mm. Only have four hours of sleep. So that's what I do before I look for a solution. I like to use what nature has. Yeah. Because there's no side effects. Mm. Spot side, side effects. Side effects. Okay. Nature and no side effects. Exactly. And yeah. Yeah. They need sick people. So to function. Don't you feel like it works slower when you have a headache? Like I've I've tried sometimes. Oh yeah. It does definitely. Yeah. yeah. Like I had a toothache then, the other day and I was in, and I was in do you know how painful? I also had a tooth ache, dude, like this week. Yo, <laughs> no tooth aches. Ah, uh, yo. Yeah. So I don't. I won't just take a aspirin. Yeah. To get, no, I'll investigate. What is it? Mm. And then after you've investigated, you know, then what? Then I'm I'm healed because I'm using it. Oh, you're gonna use the aspirin? No. What I'm saying is, if I haven't, if okay. So let me talk about my toothache inc- incidents. Okay. Incidents. Yeah. So I had a toothache. And I, I told my friend Garab, I was like, Garabo, dog, I've got a toothache. She's like, no, there's these plants outside, mm. succulents, that it would be called chips. Just mm. chew on it, and then it's going to get better. For real? Yeah. Okay. I asked succulents. him. Succulents. Yeah, it's, it's, literal, it's literally outside, here in the parking lot. Mm. And it's also at business parks. Like, there's literally medicine a lot of them. along. A lot, if you don't know, yeah, you miss out. Know. Yeah. So she told me, and I just, you know, I took a branch, I washed it at home, I started eating these chips. Painful though, hey? Mm. I can feel the pain. It's ag- ooh, mm. terrible. And, I'm, uh, and my, my um, teeth react to sensitivity and they're cold. It can't yeah. be too hot or too cold. Mm. And then it persisted, man. It got worse and worse. And like, ish. But it was, it was the pain wise, it was getting better. But I was also being. Mm. Like eating a lot of ginger because ginger is anti inflammatory, turmeric, okay. you know. So, also yeah. drank anti inflammatory like beverages and mm. foods. I tried to be more alkaline, and not mm. vegan, you know. Mm. So, yeah, then I spoke to another friend of mine, um, Sizwe mm-hmm. Mbata from mm-hmm. Daviton. Mm-hmm. He's also um, a herbalist okay. and a healer, if I can call him that. Yeah. He, he sells herbs and he has a lot of plant remedies. Mm. as medicine etc etc nice. um his details are also below yeah. <laughs> check him out <laughs> yeah so he told me about uh, a certain type of leaf mm. that um healed his mom because his mom was supposed to have a tooth extraction mm. but then she's like no just goggle with this and you'll be fine yeah so he sent it to me and then i boiled it with water it's very bitter hey mm. you don't you wouldn't want to swallow it mm-hmm. i don't think it was designed for that i think yeah. it was designed to be goggle because yeah. it tastes terrible <laughs> anyway so i drink i goggled you know night and day night and day all the time my toothache reduced wow yeah but i still need to go to the dentist to check what's going what on it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah i'm yeah, not I'm saying you don't need dentists or whatever yeah. i'm not saying you don't need doctors either yeah, yeah i'm just saying you know yeah like rather first try some, something yes, yeah yes. And, you know then go. Mm. So I need to go to the dentist. Because you're going to fill up the hospital. People really need the hospital. But it's something yes. you could have done at home. <laughs> Honestly. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is just the way I do things. And how I think. And how I operate. And mm. how I view life. Mm. And, yeah. it's, and it's working for and me. It's, and it's working yeah. 100% for me. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Uh, no, that's good, man. What teas do you like, by the way? Like, what, is there anything to the teas also? Um, I love Chicken hibiscus tea. Also? I love ginger tea. Uh-huh. There's a one from is it Dawn Cor- Dawn Chorus. From Chorus. yeah, from. You see, I'm asking this question because when I got here, they were offering me a lot of teas <laughs> that I didn't know. And I was like, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I was like, please give me that. I want to try it, and this tea is so nice. What is this? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's called Sanbonani. Sanbonani. So yeah, imagine. so all these yeah. uh, these tea ranges, these herbal tea ranges. Mm. There was a time we went to Tang, and we asked for rooibos. It was so strong because it wasn't yeah. rooibos the brand oh it was like leaf tea leaf. the actual thing it tasted like black tea True. the way it was so strong i couldn't you couldn't feel yeah, it yeah i didn't even know that there wow. was such a thing so i'm i'm definitely need to get onto the authentic teas as well yeah man yeah, yeah and that's actually that. good because i've been getting into the authentic 
her oh, coffees. Oh, your coffees, really? Coffee guy. I know oh, coffee, but... <laughs> <laughs> I drink matcha, matcha. Oh, matcha. Yeah, okay. matcha is the thing. It's also yeah. a herb, like a tea. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Must show me that. Like maybe yeah, I matcha latte is amazing. Yeah, they sell it in the retail. Yeah, yeah, they sell it. Uh, Wellness Warehouse, if you want to make it yourself, but if mm. you want to go taste it, just check coffee shops. Okay. Yeah, some mm. of my type. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay, cool. So you're saying, uh, but the, the, the tea, um, have you been thinking of maybe going into that line with your brand? Like, oh, let me rather ask, is there anything you've been thinking of adding to Nice eventually um, besides what you have? It's now? actually funny that you asked me that because that's a very good idea. <laughs> 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 Credit me. <laughs> okay, alright. Because I'm dope, gonna, man. Honestly, honestly, like, I didn't think of tea. Yeah, that's an like, amazing idea. Yeah, I was thinking more herbs, uh-huh. but teas because it's my passion. You know, you know I know like, it is. That's what I'm like. Why? So good, just... so healing. You know, yeah. <laughs> ginger tea. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Make a blend spice. That would yeah. be great. Yes. Yeah. Make your so... own blend. Really like, okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Nice tea. <laughs> oh, Sha, look out for nice tea coming soon. <laughs> Different flavors, yeah. vanilla, uh, hazelnut, um, <laughs> yeah, herbs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I know that's that's dope, man. Cause like the hot beverage, I'm asking because I also love hot beverages, and a lot of like old people love hot beverages, and I feel like it'll be a nice start. Yeah, you know, to their journey yeah. of cleansing and stuff like that. Mm. But um, yeah, man, besides anything else, um, in terms of, I mean, besides what you do, is there anything else that you probably want to do in your life um, that are your passions, whatever? Do you think of teaching a class, maybe? Oh, no, like definitely. Yoga class? Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. That is my goal. Oh, nice. I'd love to uh, teach yoga class. But actually, I haven't started my uh, yoga teacher training as yet, mm-hmm. but I'm so compelled to start like next month. Whoa. Like, I know That's I'm so true. compelled. Yeah. I was like, no, I'll do it next year. But now I'm like, I really want to do it now. Yeah. So I'll be done by the end of the year. Uh-huh. And then start afresh with something else for next something year. Something else next year. You know? Uh-huh. So I'd love to teach a class. Mm. I'd love to own my own yoga studio. Yeah. You know, I'd love to own like land, farm, like yeah. a nice healing center where people can have like a nice healing center. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, like, honestly, are just flowing yeah, like. That. like and not only in South Africa, yeah. in different parts of the nice. world where yes. there's indigenous tribes. Yeah, man. You know, you away from the city. Yes. That's what I was asking you about the city thing. Eh? It's like a city girl. I, like, and I see you in the outdoors. I know I'm very outdoorsy. I really appreciate but I, 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 I there's just certain ways that I think I can mm. be in, in the um, area. It's just that like because I've only been here, mm. it's the only thing I know. Mm-hmm. So... As a result, I can only behave on how I know. No, yeah. I don't know any other part, but, but I am expand. expanding. I am yeah. trying to explore on the other side as well. Like yeah. nice. As a person push. who loves to expand her mind. Yeah, 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 exactly. Oh man, that's beautiful. <laughs> I don't know what else I wanted to 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 ask you, man. But is there anything that you wanted to drop for us? Like any uh, last words, gems, uh, something you wanted to share? Maybe something I'm not aware about. Um, I think I've covered pretty much everything, Mm -hmm. but I do have a message for everyone. Um, and it's just going to be through how nice was actually started, like birthed. Oh yes. Um, and I hope it inspires the next person because, um, I studied chemistry for cosmetics, but Mm -hmm. I didn't have the opportunities to, um, instead I was into, I was pushed, fate pushed me into the direction of uh, petrochemical mm. and there was a time I went to one of my customers and uh, my dream was dying because I'm like how am I going to you know I've been rejected with all the cosmetics industry mm. jobs and it didn't make sense I was like what yeah. I'm in this male dominated industry that's anti creative mm. anti female mm. anti young female yeah. sex is black young yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love my customers though they've been amazing yeah. but the industry doesn't allow me to, mm. to really be myself. You know, I have to be a certain way. True. So I was falling a bit into a demotivated, oh, I'll just do this. You know, I wasn't the way I am active and, you know, like, oh my gosh, excited. Mm. I was just like, 
yeah, yeah. It's against your spirit. Yeah, even though I was trying to decide, but I was just always like pushed back. But then yeah. there was a time, I don't know how, who that man, okay. He was one of my customers. I yeah. went to the Bobo, like to a PPE, etc. you know, and I was, I don't know what made me open up to him because he was the perfect man. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, but then... <laughs> I don't know. God just used Ooh, him, eh? Yeah. To talk to me. <laughs> which is so weird. Yeah, expect, he does that sometimes. You I expect, know. like, people you like know, people. family. Yes. No, yes. this is the one. Ish. That's the, the perfect. Ish. That's why you, can, you cannot judge anyone exactly. in this world. How am I better than the next person? Yeah, yeah. Ah. Yes. Anyways, so, but we're good friends, man, you know, other than that. Mm. But, uh. Um, oh, you guys were friends? Yeah, no, I oh. used to. From that day on. Oh. From that day on. Gotcha. So he, I told him that, no, I'm actually don't want to be here. That's not, I just feel demotivated. And he says, what do you want to do? I said, cosmetics. Mm. He says, no, but apply. I don't think I've done all of that. Mm. And then he was like, no, you're going to start your own brand. Whoa. He took a pen on a whiteboard and he started right. Yeah. If you sell, just give me something. What do you want? <laughs> skin. Okay. Come. Skin products. And he's busy writing there. If you sell 10 of these in the bubble, in this, in, he literally gave me a business plan wow. on how to run my business. Whoa. I know. Wow. And you went with it and you got it right. Yeah, wow. Well, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, still, I'm still getting there. I'm, okay, okay. Oh, I'm, the, I'm the, not the there yet. Still even yes, nice. I'm not there yet. Like okay. the way he explained it, mm. he gave me everything. He, he laid out a plan for me. Yeah. And that's when the, the soul fire, fire ignited yeah, again. Like, oh, it's like a light bulb moment. Yeah, like, that was when it, it fired up again. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, and then 2020 happened. And, mm, just, and then you just went into yeah, it. Yeah, so you're, don't give up on your dreams is what I'm trying to say. Mm. If it's your passion, believe in it. Believe in, in yourself as mm. well. Yeah. Because... If That's you don't, who will? And exactly. you don't want and living backwards, living not happy, mm. you know, the depressed mind, anxiety, mm. you know, it's it's the quality of life decreases no matter mm. how much money you have or don't have. Yeah. You know, no matter who's surrounded by you, mm. if you're not happy, mm. nothing really matters. So just follow that, that thing, inner voice. Inner voice yeah. Because it really guides you to everything because now my business is, is my life mm. <laughs> and I incorporated anything yeah no that's dope man because like as you're speaking i'm thinking about all the other people in different industries i mean you're talking about the industry giving you a tough time and getting in but you're actually meant to create your own yeah and it's like takes me into also other avenues and other industries whether it be music or Whatever else, you know what I mean? The, a lot of the young youth probably have such great ideas that we need for the world. Yeah. But because we are afraid, we hold back. And what I would like to appreciate with you is that you're brave enough to actually follow that inner voice, you know, to actually take in the, the advice or the signs that you had gotten and then you actually did what you've been feeling. Yeah, because that is, this is going to be a ripple effect. What you did is a ripple effect because now you're here and then someone's going to see it maybe and then someone's going to be inspired. Someone's going to create something mm. that we might need in 10 years. You know, maybe a kid that is like searching for what they should do, 10 years old, you yeah. know. I have some nephews and I look at them and I'm like seeing them with the media indoctrination they get. Mm. And I'm like, I hope these kids really find yeah. their, their path and everything because finding your path is very important in how the world changes and how the world is actually impacted. Uh, but actually with what you're saying about the industries, just before we close, what challenges do you think you may face or you do face? Because I'm sure when you're talking about pharmaceuticals and stuff, something like this may be controversial to them because it's threatening their yeah, well being. Yeah. 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 yeah, so yeah. How, how is that? Have you had any trouble with it yet? Or? Um, no, that's, those are my own personal views. So I don't impose my personal views on what people do. Mm. I just provide what I can and okay. give them an alternative solution. Yeah. I'm not saying cancel this, use this. Mm. I'm saying here's another option. This works, yeah, but mm. this also works. And, but this one takes a little bit more reading yeah. and hard work. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, but it's, it's, it's satisfactory to, to yourself. Mm. So... Um, yeah, but the challenges are not more based on that. Um, challenges, I, I think, are ish, the day-to-day -day life, the planning. Mm. I mean, as, as much as you're supported, you're still alone. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, yeah it's, it's your it's, baby, man. It's yeah, and it's also my <laughs> mentality also mm. that I need to work on. Um, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, because sometimes I have impostors. Has it? Oh, imposter, imposter syndrome. syndrome. Oh, you don't feel like you deserve it, and oh, it should I, be you. Oh, I don't think I'm doing enough. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, man, you're doing a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I do yeah. have suffer from that sometimes, but mm. other than that, yeah. yeah. But I do uh, speak to people and mm. meditate and yeah. all that stuff to just keep afloat. Keep, yeah. yeah. Keep, keep saying, you know. And keep a good routine. Yes. Keep good a healthy, healthy, yeah, healthy routine. Yeah. Healthy routine. Yeah. Yeah, no, man, but uh, that's all for my side. I really thank you so much yeah, for no, having me uh, uh, being trying to get her, man. I'm so excited <laughs> that I finally did because I really wanted to share this information with people, you know what I mean? Um, and I keep doing what you're doing, keep being great, keep your keep being great ball of energy that you are, <laughs> and keep you. producing these products and heal us. I'm also from like a, a family of healers, I have a lot of doctors in my family, oh, so I feel wow. like you know, they'll they'll really be able to learn something with these things to take on their journey. Yeah. You know, my sister is practicing medicine wow. and stuff. So Lovely. I really want her to kind of also tap into these things, mm. you know what I mean, for the people. Um, but yeah, guys, this is Nandi Iwe. Uh, I actually don't want to say Nandi because my mom's name is Nandi. Really? So, <laughs> so I'm going to always say Nandi. Nandi Iwe. <laughs> like, yo, man, it sounds like my dad's calling my mom. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, <laughs> so, this is Nandi Iwe, guys. Um, nice LTD. And thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe. Please follow the channel. And please follow the things in the description of the people and the places she's mentioned. I'll leave the description, the, the details in the description of the social medias and so on. And yeah, man, please support. Get the products. Try them out. See if it helps. Give us some feedback. Please comment if it helped you out. If it's growing your hair, if it's keeping your skin glowing. You know, if you got a, a good physique, whatever it is, man, please update me tell us how it is how it's working for you and yeah that's it peace